Hey guys, Mikey here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, as you can see, we're switching it up a little bit. We are outside. It's a nice day. Why not do this outside, right? And um, I've been getting a question from you guys for months now, months and months and months. And I really want to address this question because so many of you have asked it. Will I be re-registering my AR-15s as assault weapons in the state of California? Now this one's a bit tricky. I can't just come on a camera uh, on the on the internet. You know, I have near 10,000 subscribers at this point, and I can't just come out here and tell you that I'm going to blatantly break the law. That's not how things work. In fact, uh, if I did that, I would be a pretty uh, a pretty stupid person, right? So you guys are going to have to read between the lines here if you think that's what's going on. Cool, but I'm not going to sit here and just say, yeah, you know what? I'm burying my guns. They're not going to get them because. That would be just foolish on my part. To answer the question, will I be re-registering my firearms as assault weapons? I have two answers, yes and no. I know that's a little confusing, but let's dive right into it. So the no part, I have 80% receivers um, that I have built um, all a, a vast majority of my AR-15s off of, okay? And I don't just own uh, AR-15s, I also own uh, AKs, other platforms that uh, will require re-registration as assault weapons in order to comply with uh, the new state laws coming up in 2017. Now I'm gonna be completely candid with you guys, okay? 100% candid. Uh, I know I said I would not comply in an earlier video, and uh, I don't take that back. However, I just wanna let you know that I am going to be re-registering some of my firearms as assault weapons. Now let me, let me explain what I'm doing here and why I'm doing it and see if it fits in line with what you guys may wanna do with your firearms. So I have a business. Tactic California is a business. Believe it or not, uh, even though it loses more money than it makes, <laughs> uh, it is a business. And uh, I need to make sure that I have my business best interests with the decisions I'm making. So part of the decisions I'm making, uh, you have to understand that part of my psyche, the reason I'm making those choices is for the best of the channel. What's best for Tactic California? What's best for you guys uh, that I just don't register uh, anything and then I can't put any of that kind of content on uh, on up, up for you guys because then you know it would be a blatant violation of law. You would see that I have AR-15s on videos and you would know that they are, are featured and that they have a bullet button and that they're not registered as assault weapons. So I can't just come out and do that. So that option's kind of defeated for me personally because I have my YouTube channel. So I built a majority of my AR-15s with 80%. So what am I doing? I'm replacing my 80% receivers with standard registered long gun, you know, good hardy 100% stripped lower receivers, okay? The ones I chose were from VC Defense, anything will work, Anderson, Spikes, whatever. The reason I'm doing this is so I can re-register those lowers as complete assault weapons come the new year. And I'm doing that for this channel. I'm doing that so you guys can still see AR-15 content here on the channel, okay? If I didn't have the channel, this may be different. However, that is what I'm gonna be doing. So what will I be doing with my 80s? That's the part where I'm saying, no, I'm not complying. Uh, I'm not gonna serialize my 80% and I'm not going to uh, uh, do anything with them. I don't know if uh, you know I'm gonna end up building them and burying them in the backyard type stuff. Uh, probably not, to be quite honest. Uh, I think I might just get rid of them. I might just d destroy them. Uh, I don't really have much use for 80% receivers uh, at this point because uh, we're being forced to register them. So uh, yeah, there's really no point in me having uh, 80% and since uh, vast majority of my 80% are polymer, it's pretty easy for me to destroy them. So read between the line guys, I'm destroying them. Get what I'm saying? Uh, so I don't have, I won't have those as of the first of the new year. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. And um, you know, you just gotta, you gotta stay legal, you gotta stay above board, especially when you're someone like me who kind of put yourself out there and uh, the government may be, may be taking a little bit harder of a look at me, simply because um, you know, people are starting to look to me for answers. Long story short, I am registering new receivers as assault weapons come the new year so that you guys will have awesome AR-15 content uh, on the channel for, for, for the foreseeable future. If you like this video, please click like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos on California gun laws and gear and gun reviews. I'm Michael with Tactic California. Thanks so much for watching.